Have you ever been in a situation where you need to transfer your raw files straight from your camera to your computer? You don't want to take out your SD card. You don't want to start plugging in a mini USB. I found a fix and I'm happy to share it with my subscribers. The solution for this is FTP in. I know this might sound familiar as I've just uploaded an FTP setup video, but that was for like phone devices and for uploading with speed. This should help you with laptops, PCs on any operating systems. Before we get into it, I am going to highlight my subscribers simply just by saying thank you. That FTP video that I did put out is the reason why I'm making this video right now. For a small channel like mine, it's it's pushing up there with the views and you guys are leaving the comments that I'd love you to, hence why I'm making this quick fire video. This is another one of my KISS episodes where I keep it simple and I cut out all of my usual waffle. So I'll move on to the tutorial now and we'll get started. So if you haven't seen my previous video, make sure you click the I at the top of the screen. The reason why I say that is I want to condense the time that this video will take to make and you will understand the important bits of setting up FTPing on your camera. If you're on a computer, open it in a new tab so that you don't lose where you are and I'll meet you back here once you understand how to set it up on your camera. So this question is stemmed from John Martin. He was, he was trying to figure out how to tether from his A7R4 or one of the Sony's onto his uh, Macintosh laptop or operating system, whatever, whatever it is. Now, where I struggled with him is that I am a Windows and PC user. So I couldn't find him a solution to his problems because I didn't have his equipment. Now, with that being said, it shouldn't be that hard to, to figure out. For me, it, it was because I just had to go through a bit more of a learning process, but hopefully I've condensed that down for you right now. So the first thing that you wanna do, I will be demonstrating everything via Windows as, as I mentioned, that's all I have. So yeah, let's get into it. The first thing that you wanna do is get yourself into the Microsoft Store. When you go to search, it's key that you type in FTP server. I was looking for some sort of client like the one that I have on my phone for ages and I was just typing in FTP and manually downloading all of the apps and going through them. None of them worked. Well, that was until I typed in FTP server. I still went through a few and some didn't work, but I'm pleased to tell you now that I've found one that, that does the trick. So the one that I found, you'll see it on screen here, is the Universal FTP server. Fortunately for you guys, this is a free app. So go ahead and download it. It shouldn't take any time at all. It's, it's relatively small in size. Once downloaded, it will give you an option to launch. If not, then just go and find it in your search tab. I've pinned mine to my desktop. Now it's a pretty basic and blank app. The first thing that I did was change the folder that I want to save all of my transfers, my raw files. And that's simply by just selecting the icon. Once you found your happy place, remember that video that I told you to go and look at where it, it kind of gives you all the information on how to set your camera up. Inside your FTP settings, hang on, I'll, I'll, grab, I'll grab mine so I can show you. When you go into server settings, choose your server uh, and then go into destination settings. That's where you've typed in your host name, your IP address, the 192. Dot etc etc once you've typed in your custom port that's what you'll put in just on the screen here mine is 2525 and as you come out of that make sure you're pressing ok on your camera screen otherwise it won't save it don't press menu go down to user info settings on your camera make sure that you set up because sony the sony cameras need a pass a username and password so just make sure you do that make sure that it's mirroring what is on your uh machine settings as well if you are on apple like i said i apologize i'm sure there will be something that will be very similar to this i just can't tell you what it is who knows universal ftp server might be on the app store so i don't know maybe i'm making a deal out of nothing as soon as you've done that super easy you literally just click start and it fires up now on my screen my ftp i know you can't see it but my ftp has just gone white I'm about to show you guys real time what's happening. So um, if I, hang on, let me not say go yet, but uh, if I go back down to my desktop, I open up where I've left my uh, folder, my, my items. So you can see um, what items I've transferred. I'm not gonna cut anything out of this video. I'm literally gonna take a shot and I'm gonna transfer it and you guys are gonna see it happen in real motion. So taking that shot, all I do is I go into my display, my media, where all my photos are. I've got my C2 button as my uh, transfer of tethering. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to leave it on 
tether all as you take them just because this isn't the fastest way this is just like let's say you're at home and you're doing product photography but you don't want to be tethering you don't want wires and you just want a one file or a couple of files then you just click along um, so I'm gonna press it with you guys now performs FTP you'll see that the red light here is flashing on my screen it's already coming through the flashing has stopped I think I can open it there we go guys didn't take long at all sorry I was manual focusing this lens is great it doesn't look like crap like what this picture is insinuating but that is how quick everything works that is how it flows it will keep a log of all the information that's happened so everything that you've done everything that you've sent unfortunately you can't send videos through the ftp transfer that's the only downside to things um, but after you're done once you're done just click stop i hope this video has been useful to you once again if you have any issues drop them in the comments below you already know now i'm i'm down for you guys i'll make sure that i reply i'll make sure that i put out more content if i need to if i find another solution if you guys find another solution or, or another piece of software that's better then then just let me know i'm definitely going to consider now taking my laptop on on set more just because i know that i'd be able to get my phone tether it up or maybe maybe actually that might be another video that i might make i might make another one if i can find a solution for it of course where you don't need that that router that that connection in between um, and you can ftp directly to the laptop hopefully i don't know yet but if i find that solution i will be putting that video up so make sure you subscribe to get any kind of future content that might help you speed up your workflow to digress as i said i'm definitely going to be taking this on on set more um, just because when you're on set sometimes looking for your viewfinder or your lcd screen even on your phone sometimes you don't see the resolution you don't want to miss focus um, I, I did a shoot not too long ago if you follow me once again you would have seen the shoot there were a few shots that i took that i really liked and for some reason my camera just missed focus every time there was color behind my subject or oh, subject subject <laughs> but yeah that that at that time that would have been important because i might have been able to quickly tether see my mistake see if i can potentially manually focus to get the shot that i want um and just make sure that things are right so i won't leave it too long as i mentioned this is a kiss episode hit the like button you've made it this far and i tell you what one last thing if you really want to help me grow then please send this to someone else i know you know someone who has a camera like you i know that they're going to benefit from using this don't be a hater help everyone grow help everyone come up with solutions that way we can focus on whatever the next problem is i'll see you on the next upload peace